Hello, welcome back to Shenzhen Zen Jamaican Vibes. Inspiring, motivating, showcasing Jamaican talents and giving back to my Jamaican people. Showcasing Jamaica to the world. Today we're in the community of Cheapside in St. Elizabeth, Jamaica. And we're going to be interviewing Randall Legister, who is a small farmer in the parish. And he'll be showing us how he utilized a small space to get more yield. Welcome back to the channel and do enjoy this video. Hello and welcome back to Shenzhen Zen Jamaican Vibes. Inspiring Jamaicans, motivating Jamaicans, showcasing Jamaican talents and giving back to my Jamaican people. Today we're in the community of Cheapside and we're at a cucumber farm. And this gentleman is the owner of the cucumber farm. Introduce yourself to the world. My name is Randa Legista and I'm from Cheapside. And I'm a farmer. This is what I do for a living, farming. And I love farming. Really have the love and the passion for farming. But at times it's really rough doing it based on we have to buy the water, fertilizer, and based on the price that is things sell for at times. Sometimes we can't even buy back the, the spray and the seed to go back again. Yeah. And it's really hard at times but I still press down and continue to do what I have to do. Oh, okay, so how long have you been farming? More than six years now I've been farming. And what inspired you or motivated you to start farming? Well really and truly it's my grandfather. Okay. Yeah but he's now deceased. Oh he yeah. used to be a big he farmer. He used to be a big farmer. Okay. And I really admire how he take his work serious and every morning I wake up to see my grandfather go to the farm and from that time I tell myself that I want to become a farmer okay. and from there that's where it begins. Okay, okay. But you took it up seriously six years ago? Six years ago, yeah. Okay. Since my daughter come in place I really take it up even more serious. Yeah, because you want to provide for her? But, yeah. Alright, and teach her to farm too? Yes, and she really, they on the farm with me most of the time when she's here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so she's learning. Yeah, she's learning. Yes. Help me water the plants and, yeah. Yeah, man, that's what I like to hear. Alright, so this is your cucumber farm and can you explain to us what kind of farming you're doing here? Well, this is my cucumber farm as you already see it and she already explained it to you. Right. So, to have it run up on the string, it heal a better crop. Mm -hmm. Because when you have it down on the ground, there's a lot of insect down there, so there and then you have to apply more chemical. Mm -hmm. But when we run it up on this, less chemical we apply at the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you use a smaller space and get more yield? Smaller up. space and more yield. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, but I'm going to introduce you to some organic fertilizer, liquid organic fertilizer. Okay. It's going to totally change your life. I promise you, when you get it, it's going to totally change the way how you, you, your um, products look, how your farm looks. Because I don't, I don't too like the chemicals, you know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to introduce you to the organic fertilizer. But aside from the cucumber, what else you farm? Well, I farm string bean, tomato, sweet pepper, melon. I just reap off some watermelon about a week ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have string bean, I have table salad, and cantaloupe. So how do you care for the cucumbers? Well, I have to water it three times per day. Mm -hmm. In the morning, in the afternoon, and in the late evening, I have to water it. Yeah. So in the morning, when it has the dew on it, what do you do? When you well, I get some fresh water and spray on it to wash off the dew because the dew is the main thing that burns the plant. Mm -hmm. As soon as the sun comes on it and dry the, the dew on it, that's how it burns. Okay. Yeah, so we apply fresh water to get rid of the dew. Okay, okay. So you can can you show me some of the other things you have? That's the pepper? Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have string bean plant too here as well. Oh. Yeah. Oh yes, plant the string beans alongside the cucumber. Right here. In the middle, right here. Oh this is About, about three months now. Okay. And right here we have sorrel as well. Yeah, 
Yes, yes. Yeah, we have Saril. Mm -hmm. yeah. over here now. Sweet pepper. So how many times can you reap sweet pepper? I have an idea, but let me hear from you. Sweet pepper up to six months. Yes, and how you take care of it? Up to six months after planting? Yeah, after planting. Okay. And these are the, the salad. The table oh. salad. These are the table salad? Yeah. Okay. These are just about two weeks old. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I, like I have it. some string beans down there. Oh, yeah, string beans yeah. down there too. Nice man, this is a this is a lovely farm. I like to interview farmers because they inspire me. I do farming myself. So you inspire me when I see your farm and how lovely it looks. Especially the cucumber farm. That's how I want to set up my cucumber farm. It's really encouraging because we have I have a lot of persons that come stop and look at it and so they wanna try it this way as well. Okay. So maybe that can be another, even another job, you know, people, you, you do it, set it up for people yeah, and yeah. they they pay you something to set it up for them. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's and another thing. I'm going to gonna also cut the, the salad as well. Oh, yeah, so, so that it grows up. When, that, when this card you will pass by and see it as well. Yeah, man, I'm going to It's a lot back. of work, but I enjoy doing it because it's my work, so I enjoy doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Just give them a little bit from this side. Oh, okay, let me. Yeah, these are some ripe sweet pepper. And here we have sorrel here. Yeah. I have sorrel that here right through the ear. Yeah, I know. I know. So you had watermelon in this farm as well? Urban areas where they don't have enough backyard space, this would be ideal for them as well. You have to know the timing, how, how to plant. Yeah. Because with the cucumber, you know, it's a very short crop. Yeah. Six weeks and six to seven weeks, cucumber is supposed to finish reaper. Mm -hmm. So, like, you have to plant tomato with it, you have to plant the tomato like uh, three weeks before the, the cucumber. Okay. Yeah. If you have to plant melon seed, we are three weeks before the melon. Okay. Yeah. What's the price now for cucumber per pound? Well, it's going for $50 per pound. Oh, it's $50. Yeah. So how high can cucumber get? Because I know the price normally. It's going up to $100 sometimes. Okay. And out of this area that you have, how much pounds of cucumber you think you can get from this area? Well, I think I can get up to 1500 pounds if I continue look after it this way. Continue oh. treat it this way. Yeah. Really? Apply a lot of water because it's really low water, a yeah. lot of water, yeah. Wow, wow, that's a lot of cucumber to get from this area. Yeah. And this is about a square? Or less, most about less. Yeah, less, less than, than a square, less than not true? Yeah. Wow. Yes, that's amazing. You utilize, space, utilize less space and still get more yield. Well, thank you so much for talking with us and showcasing your farm. All right, so from here in Cheapside, Jamaica, I want to say walk good and make good topic, walk with you. All right.